that the United States and India have a unique partnership where we can do more to combat this climate crisis together than almost any other two countries in the world. That might sound self-serving for the U.S. Ambassador to India to say, because that's where I work, here in India, on the U.S.-India relationship. I'm an American. But don't just take my word for it. Three weeks ago, when I was in Washington, D.C., in the Oval Office, the President, with the Prime Minister, said that this was one of the most consequential, in fact, he said it was the most important relationship that we have. I can rest assured tell you no U.S. President has ever shared that with a Prime Minister of India in the history of our two democracies. Our leaders feel that, but it's also reflected in how our governments are working together. That's part of what I want to discuss here today. Our governments are working closely. A state visit that's successful usually consists of a few agreements. We had 130 plus different deliverable things from defense to energy to technology to people to people exchanges that have really shown that, by the way, it's not just about two leaders or two governments, it's about two peoples. Indians who love Americans and Americans who love Indians. And building that bridge in the Indo-Pacific region to, of course, first and foremost, help our two countries. But I do believe when it comes to something like climate, which is borderless, we're going to be able to help the world together. And the U.S.-India relationship boils down to one word, trust. And trust comes from real friendship. It's funny, we read about other countries who have, I think, relationships of convenience without limits. We have a relationship of friendship that for too long we've put limits on. But as we begin to, through our leaders, take those limits away and work in all arenas, as we said in the joint statement, from the seabed to the stars, we really do have, it used to be the sky's the limit, not even the sky is the limit anymore. And we're looking forward very much to tomorrow's launch of India as it makes history becoming the fourth country to have a soft landing on the moon. <laughs>